Right, so we've got this uh, Worcester Bosch, uh, which isn't firing up. Uh, I've been sent here to change the gas valve, but before I do that, I just want to do a few tests on to make sure if it's the gas valve faulty or if it's something else. First thing to check is the solenoids. Just check the resistance on the top and the bottom solenoids. On the bottom one, you should be getting 180 ohms plus or minus 10%. Uh, so 190 ohms plus or minus 10% and on the top one you should be getting 380 ohms plus or minus 10% So I've got my multimeter leads wedged in there on the bottom one That's 186. I'm happy with that And now the top one 406 ohms, so that's within tolerance as well Right, so now I'm checking the inlet pressure So standing pressure, I've got 22 millibar just giving it a demand for heating, so let's see if it comes on. I'm looking for that drop on the U-gauge to show that the gas valve is opening. We've got a blip there. That loud clicking sound tells me that it's possibly a fault with the electrodes, not the gas valve. That's running fine there, that's opened up, burner's on, but that was making a very loud clicking sound up there, so I'm going to have a look at that a little bit further. Right, first thing I've found when I went to check these leads is that's not even been connected properly. So that's possibly why she's been getting an intermittent fault where the boiler's not lighting up. So we're going to put that back on and uh, see if that makes a difference and see if that makes a difference in that loud clacking sound as well. Right, so having pushed that back in, that's a lot quieter now, and the boiler does fire up straight away. I'm just going to test the gas valve to make sure that it's been set up correctly for uh, combustion analysis. I've also got my Kane 458 ready. Now on these ones, to get into max and minimum mode, take off the front cover here, and here you've got a little key. And then that goes into, into that slot there, uh, and then you just turn, you can see on there, it's hard to see from here, but it says, normal, maximum, minimum, so you just set it to whatever settings you want and then test your readings. So the boiler is running on max, we've got working pressure of between 20 and 21 millibar at the boiler which is good. We're looking at 9.8% CO2 plus or minus 0.5 which we have there uh, and now let's test it on minimum. Right so minimum should be 9.2 plus or minus 0.5, obviously that's a little bit out so uh, just gonna my form of Allen key and just turn it clockwise quarter turn or so or eighth of a turn until we get that to 9.2 or there or thereabouts right we've got 9.3 percent so I'm happy with that now I always test it back again on maximum to make sure that it hasn't affected the uh, CO2 readings on max rate side Let's ramp it up again see where that, where that leaves us. Right, that's pretty much settled on 9.8%. Uh, um, combustion analysis is actually really good. Uh, and 9.8% is bang on what it actually should be as per the data badge. So yeah, problem was, not the gas valve, but a loose connection on the electrode. So sometimes it's worth checking all the little simple things before you start booking up expensive parts.